you know, for me, the, the phrase personalized learning is just one of several different uh, phrases that is tossed around in the education circles over the years where a lot of people would nod and pretend they understood what it meant, but no one, and I'm speaking for myself, didn't really know what it really did mean. One of the many different disruptions of the pandemic, I think it's become more and more clear about what personalized learning means, not only for the student, but for the teacher, and also for the parent. Through the use of technologies, both synchronous, uh, through the use of Zoom and Teams and Google Meets, that is personalized learning in action. Uh, and you have the synchronous technologies as well as the asynchronous technologies where thanks to this greatest beta test in ed tech history, everyone has become adept at logging on and logging in. So as terrible as things have been in the past 18, two years, um, when it comes to our everyday lives, um, maybe there actually have been some benefits when it comes to the idea of personalized learning and improving the way in which educators teach and students learn.